Hello, this is Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club and today I'm making a layout using the January kits. I have the January main kit, I also have the Project Life kit um, and I have the embellishment kit and I also have the colour kit which is something I'll be using today and um, today's layout is for Mixed Media Monday so therefore I am making a mixed media layout today. So um, I'm starting off with a sheet of smooth white card and uh, I'm trimming it down slightly. Um, I love that sheet of black and white stripes that was in the kit this month. That's a Dear Lizzie uh, New Day paper um, and I've cut it, I've cut out the middle so I can use the middle um, and then basically I've ended up with a strip at the top and the bottom of my uh, white cardstock. Um, I, my assignment today is to make a um, party layout or a celebration layout. Well, neither of which I have got much of given that I have um, three young children, one of which is a little baby. <laughs> um, so uh, party life doesn't really exist for me at the moment. Um, so I've chosen to use some photos of my baby wide awake, uh, up for a party by the looks of it, uh, in the middle of the night. Um, so I'm gonna use those um, as a bit of a play on words. Um, and uh, I'm creating my background um, using the three different colors um, of uh, Prima Color Bloom 2 um, Shimmer Spray. Now these came as a powder and you had to put water in them in order to activate them and they just provide this really really gorgeous shimmery spray um, that's really really lovely and fun to play with. Um, so I've done that with all my three colours um, and what I'm using is the um, Prima Art Basics modelling paste that came in the colour kit this month and I'm mixing those three colours with a small amount of modelling paste and then I'm applying it through the stencil that came in the colour kit this month. So basically this whole background is created using just the items that came from the colour kit. So so what I'm doing is I started off with the yellow and I um, pushed that through the stencil after mixing it with the modelling paste and then I sprayed on a little bit of the yellow um, paint as well. Basically I wanted to, um, I wanted the stars to show but I also wanted the, um, I wanted some of the colour to show more on the background as well so I basically want to apply, um, have it look like a watercolour effect like the packaging technique um, but um, the sprays didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Um, they work great but they didn't give the effect that I wanted so um, I'm still going ahead and doing it but you will see that I will um, apply some extra colour later. So I've dried each colour um, with the heat tool in between uh, before I've applied the next colour and that's so that I don't smudge my stars basically. Um, the modelling paste dried super quick um, so I was really pleased about that um, and um, the shimmer spray took longer to dry, <laughs> definitely took longer to dry uh, but these stars were brilliant. So here I am applying um, some more of the same colours with the packaging technique so I've literally just sprayed those sprays onto the piece of packaging and then I've smooshed it around with my fingertip um, to give a more of a watercolour color effect and this is so that my colors show out from under my photos and then I have the stars modeling paste um, all, all like coming out from those in the end I think I end up covering up the two uh, the yellow and the pink with my photos silly me but lots of the blue shows so yeah that's often the way with mixed media layouts isn't it so <laughs> um, so anyway now that my background is dry I am just pulling out some journaling cards from the project life kit uh, to mount my photos on. Um, I, like I said, I've got two photos of my little baby uh, up for a party in the middle of the night. It wasn't too late, it was 11.30 at night, but even so, it was late for me. Um, and um, he was not doing any sleeping that night. So, um, yes, yeah, so that was, uh, so I say, I'm a uh, Bit, bit, bit of a play on words here and I'm going to call this layout party time. Um, so I've mounted my two photos on two of the Project Life cards uh, just to give them a border really um, and then I have taken one of the pieces of um, foam stickers from the uh, Hooray um, foam thickers I think they are, the phrase and icon thickers um, and I've cut it in half so that you can't see that it says happy birthday because this is not a happy birthday layout. Um, I've cut it in half, it's got glitter on it, it's got that cool doodled border and I've put them either side of my photo so it looks like one large piece going across. Um, you can see I'm struggling with my title, I just couldn't make it work uh, in, diff in the right place so I've tried several different um, places for it um, because I want to add a subtitle as well. 
Um, what I'm doing now is I'm going through and adding a few uh, tone on tone embellishments. Um, I've used the word party from those same hooray thickers, foam thickers. I got that in place and the time is from Chamel's um, Head in the Clouds navy thickers. I do love navy thickers. They're really lovely. So uh, these are no exception. And then I'm adding my little subtitle Bring Your Own Bottle um, with uh, those teeny tiny uh, Pink Fresh Studio alphas that I'm totally in love with. They are one of my new favorite products they're just awesome I'm so pleased that they've been made um, and uh, I'm just underlining those with a pen um, and I say I'm still fiddling around with the positioning of my title I just can't figure it out <laughs> so um, I think I must have moved it three or four times honestly um, I'm not normally so indecisive but uh, for some reason I could not make that work so now I'm finally happy with where my title goes. Um, I'm getting everything stuck in place. So I'm sticking down my photos. I wish I realized at this point that I'd covered up completely the uh, yellow and the pink um, watercolor effect. So it's just the stars shining out from the top. Um, but I say that's one of those things that tends to happen. Um, and uh, I'm going through and seeing what um, embellishments I can add. So I'm really aiming for tone on tone. Um, I'm aiming for pink embellishments over the pink mixed media area, yellow over the yellow mixed media area, and blue over the blue mixed media area. So um, so yeah, just working on that. The flare badge there, I've just added, um, I used uh, foam pads on the back of that to stick that in place. I find that works best. Um, and um, yeah, just finishing off here really, trying to see um, if there's anything else that I can bring in. Some of the um, stickers from the Pink Fresh Studio um, phrase stickers were really lovely and worked well for my layout. Um, I'm also adding um, a few of the Chamel Head in the Clouds enamel shapes. There are stars and um, hearts and circles and diamonds, um, so they all went really uh, fabulously well with my layout. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I've done there. Um, I think what I'm probably doing right at this moment is looking up the date of the photo. Um, and uh, there we go, I'm coming back in now to write in some uh, journaling. So just a few lines about what uh, these photos are all about. Um, and I say a bit of a play on words here with the party time, bring your own bottle. Um, so uh, that is my layout complete for Mixed Media Monday. I hope you enjoyed seeing the colour kit in action. I really loved playing with these products. They were great fun and I love the effect. So thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club.